SeatGeek. For all your ticketed events, from sporting to concert outings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek, the smart way to buy. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code. Hey, hey, everybody. I'm your host, Grande Gato, also known as the Big Cat. My cool cat with the paws up. If you're up with the Big Cat today, we're talking about the Carolina Panther. Is it time to tank the rest of the season? We'll talk about it. But first, we'll quick before we get started. Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? I heart them, I heart them, I heart them, y'all. Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love them? Yes, no, maybe sometime. Do you like the Carolina Panthers? If you don't like the Carolina Panthers, give it that. Give it that. Give it that dab, man. Let's talk about is it time for us to tank? Let's get into it. That boy is good. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss the video. Now, is it time for the Carolina Panthers to tank? As my brother Tupac once said, nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Let's slow it down a quick second. Let's let's do a quick recap. This season has been a very abysmal, disappointing season. A season in which we've seen our starting quarterback go down for two consecutive years. We've seen our team have the highest potential coming into the season. According to ProFootballFocus.com, one of the top ten offensive linemen coming in here. Offensive lines and defensive lines as well. A lot of big expectations, and we came up flatter than a Diet Coke left on the counter. Mm. I guess I'm disappointed and I'm frustrated with this team because, like I said, I spoke to one of my callers on my live stream last night, and they said I used Christmas money to come all the way down here from, I think, Virginia or New Jersey, somewhere like that, and they spent their money to come down here to watch a competitive game, a game that was winnable for the most part after the, I mean, during the first half just for those guys to let it go. I think the effort hasn't been there. So, all season, for whatever reason, I guess when Cam Newton was, got hurt, I think a lot of people, even players on the team, kind of gave it up, you know what I mean? Especially when KK goes out as well, a couple star players, I think people kind of give it up. Yeah, they gave it up, they gave up the ghost. Is it time to tank? Well, i tell you this. I'm a guy who has been die hard when it comes to believing in fighting to the finish, putting up a good effort, and all that other good stuff, but when something's gonna hurt you and not help you, I go against it because I'm all about the help. Let's go ahead and um, let's let it go, man. Let's let it go. I mean, winning does nothing but push us further out. And at this point, we have nothing to play for. Um, I'm not saying I'm not saying go out there and uh, lose by 40 every game. I'm not saying that either. But hey, it is what it is at this point, man. I want to draft a high-caliber player to go along with these other high-caliber players that we have so we can be a legit team rather sooner than later. This hurts me to even have this conversation. But, like I said, reality is a B, and I heard that she bites. So with that in mind, I'm in the mindset of let's tank, y'all. Hopefully we can get a top 10 pick. You know what I mean? I don't know if we will, but if we can get a top 10 pick, that'll be great. Derek Brown from Auburn. Will be good to plug in that uh, that defensive line, and if he's not there, you got a Raekwon Davis, a Raekwon Smith from Alabama, and if he's not there, you got a plethora of offensive linemen from Andrew Thomas at a UGA Gold Dog second boo 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 boo. Shout out to my man Trey Smith. Shout out to Alex Leatherwood from uh, Alabama. There's a plethora of linemen that we can get, whether it be offensive line or defensive line, but we can't get them sitting at the bottom of the draft. So let's go ahead. Lay it down and um, try again next year, man. I mean, David Tepper has a plan for this team, and it's going to take a little time. Hopefully, as short as short as two years, at longest five years. But nonetheless, time's going to pass. If you ever been in jail before, time's going to pass, man. So why not make it count? Get in the comment section. I'm your host, Grunner. Got to also know the big cat. My cool cat. Put your paws up if you're rocking with the big cat. Get in the comment section. I want to hear from you. What do you think? Is it time to go ahead and tank, or is it just, you know, fight to the finish and let's put up a good effort? I want to hear from you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow the uh, podcast on Google FM, Anchor FM, and the rest of the podcast. Follow me on Twitter and, Insta, uh, and Instagram and YouTube. Keep pounding underscore TV and Facebook as well. Let's get up out of here. Let the church say that. Don't forget to subscribe to the Carolina Panthers custom helmet giveaway video in the playlist. Once we hit 5,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away free a $300 retail value Marvel's Avenger Carolina Panthers helmet. Keep pounding.